Hey guys, this is uh, Andrew Riley with Breaking the System. This is my son, Jason Allen Riley. Uh, he's a very special kid. He's a dork sometimes. He's looking at the cam uh, looking at the video right now instead of looking focusing at the camera. The camera's right there. <laughs> uh, anyway, so today we're doing a little bit something different. He asked me if he can be in a video with me, and I'm going to get my other son here in just a minute. But uh, the reason I got Jason to start start out this morning is where we picked off, uh, picked up, I kind of wanted to pick up on the content that I was working on with the relationship between man and the father. Um, and the whole point of being a Christian, what Christianity truly is, really is. Um, today I'm going to make it a child, kid, kid version, uh, for the fact that, um, my son here, uh, it will help put more of an understanding on the point that I'm trying to make also. Uh, the, the things that I'm trying to get across to uh, not only you as my viewers, but also the rest of the world. Um, but I'm going to ask him a few questions, and I'm going to try to represent or help you all understand uh, some of the points that I'm trying to make through a child's eyes. And, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Um, Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and we will um, we'll be asking some questions, and y'all please feel free to make some comments in the comment section. Press that like, and uh, we will we'll be back with y'all in a minute. So Jason, today um, I'm going to ask you a few questions, as I just said, and, um, and I'd like you to answer them the way you feel is the best answer for them. Make sure you speak up for the microphone so that I'll be able to hear you, and uh, we'll get into this, okay? Are you comfortable with that? Mm -mm. Are you comfortable with being on a video? No, you're not comfortable with being on a video? <laughs> Look at it. Hey, he was asking me. He was asking me, y'all. So he's going he's gonna to have to bear with it now. So Jason, um, I'm going to use me as an example uh, as your father, right? I'm your father. Am I your father? Yes or no? <laughs> I am your father. Okay. Uh, now, with a, a relationship, do you consider me your father? I mean, I know you know I'm your blood father, but do you actually consider me your father? Do you love me? Do you like to have fun, play, and all that kind of stuff with your dad? Okay. Now, let me ask you a couple more questions. What would you do... Or let me rephrase that. What do you think I would do if uh, you walked around and you just didn't listen to me or you, you had slapped me across the face and you didn't care what I had to say to you? What do you think I'd do? What do you think that would do to me? Make you sad. It hurt my feelings, right. Um, now let me ask you a question. What would you do... What would you do if I did that kind of stuff to you, if I just walked around and I just slapped you and I didn't care about you, I didn't give you any attention. Mm, hurt my feelings. It hurt your feelings. Okay, so uh, let me ask you another quick question. Um, as my son, do you feel that it is part of your right to inherit what I have to give you? Do you know what inherit means? to get or to receive some of the things that I have to give, like my money, my time, my uh, whatever. Do you feel that you deserve gifts? You deserve my love as my son? You, de you deserve that, right? Don't you? Okay. Now, now, I can give you all the love in the world, and I do. I... I I give to you all the time, right? I make sure I feed you, I make sure you have clothes on your back, and so forth and so on, right? Okay, now, do you ever disobey me? Mm, no. You don't disobey me? Really? Oh, really? Oh, Montana's over there laughing in the background. Do you ever disobey your dad? No. Uh, I think you do sometimes. But it's okay, you know why? 
because you learn from those dis those those things, right? Mm -hmm. What do you learn from when you disobey? Hmm. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things you learn? Like when we were playing the game earlier, when I had to get after you, what was the what was the lesson out of that? Uh, patience. Patience, and what else? What else? Listen. Well, yeah, listening is the is the basic idea, yes. But why? But why listen? What's the what's the lessons behind the listening part? Patience, you said. Um, what do you think about like fun or enjoyment in life? Does that sound about right? Mm-hmm. Did you learn did you learn did did you understand that what Papa was trying to tell you earlier mm -hmm. about about if you just sit down and you just play the game, you'll actually enjoy it, right? That's actually fun, right? Okay. So, so would you say, will you stop bouncing around, please? <laughs> now, let me ask you. Would you say that you're um, learning that I want what's best for you and that I want you to be able to enjoy all your time? Would you say that's true? Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes, that is true. You can vocalize. You don't have to just shake your head. Okay. Um, now let me ask you another quick question. Would you say that that makes us have that shows that we have a good relationship that we're learning from each other? Yes. Yes. So what 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 is that relationship? Is that a father and son, or is that a a friend and a friend? What kind of relationship is that to you? Father and son. Father and son, but. Do you think it might be more than that? Yeah. What? Oh, explain to me. How would it be more than that? What other type of relationship is there? What other type of relationship might be there? Hmm? Maybe kind of like a friendly one? Mm -hmm. Do you think? Yeah, do you think kind of like a friendly one? Like, like I care about you so much, not only as my son, but also my friend and, and my companion in life to an extent to where I want to uplift you, I want to build you up, I want to guide you in the way you should go so that, so that you have a good future in your, in your, or so that you have a good life in your future, right? So that you can grow up to be really, really smart and you can grow up to, to, um, do the things you need to do in your life, right? Mm -hmm. You think those are all good things? Yeah. <clears throat> so he's getting a little antsy. Um, but I think what, I think you're seeing it here, and I know I am, that he knows. He knows as, as my child, but also my um, friend, that I want what's best for him. And that's exactly what God is doing with us. He's trying to get through to us. Listen, people, listen. I love you. I just want what's best for you. I want you. I want to be able to build you up, but I can't do that if you're not listening. That's all he wants for us. He wants to build us up. He wants to make us better. He wants to be able to bless us, give us gifts. But if we're not listening, listening or thinking or meditating on what he's telling us, what are we supposed to learn in life? We're not, we're not going to learn anything. We're going to learn what man wants us to learn, but what does man have to teach us? Man does nothing but destroy. We can see that by the way, by all the things that are around us every day. I mean, don't get me wrong. Man has some good things, but for the most part, it's destruction. They're destroying the world as we know it. They're destroying, they're destroying everything that they've touched put their hands to it's a cancer to the earth that's what man is let's change that let's be a blessing to the earth because god is blessing us right so anyway uh i'm gonna go ahead and get my other son up here and we're gonna ask him some questions all right thank you thank you jason i appreciate that come here bud <laughs> Oh, look at how excited. Look at that big old smile. Look at that smile. This is my son, Heath. 
He uh, he's a little dork. About six. <laughs> he's six years old. He'll be seven this January. Uh, everybody, wish him a happy birthday in the comments. Let him know how you feel. Um, so Heath, are you okay with um, answering some questions for Papa? Yeah. Yeah. You okay with that? Yeah. You got you got an eye booger, bud. <laughs> um. <laughs> So I'm going to ask him some different questions, and I hope you understand that these are the same questions that God is trying to ask us as, as his children. Um, okay, first off, you know I love you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I love you. Yeah. You're one of the few people that actually know that I love them. Um, but I do. I love you very much, and I appreciate you as my son. Uh, now going into some questions. Do you love me? Yes. Do you want, because you love me, you want to do what I want you, uh, what I ask of you so that you learn and you grow, right? Yeah. You're going to grow big and strong one day. You're going to eat all your good foods and vegetables, yeah. right? Right. Okay. So let me ask you a question. What would you do if you didn't think I loved you? Um, I would, um, be mad. You'd be mad? Mm -hmm. Would it hurt you? No. It wouldn't hurt you, no. you'd just be mad? Yeah. Why would you be mad? Because because I don't like stop, people stop. when they're, um, they don't like to play with me. Like, I'm useless. I don't like that. You don't like feeling useless? <coughs> no. You don't like feeling useless. Is that what you said? Yeah. You don't like feeling useless? Well, nobody likes feeling useless, and uh, and I want to make sure you never feel that way with me. Um, but anyway, uh, I want to ask you a question. Do you believe in God? Yeah. Do you? Yes. Do you, do you do you believe that He loves you? Yes. Do you? Yes. So so mm -hmm. what does that uh, what does that make you want to do, um, in your life? Have fun and listen to God. Why do you want to listen to God? Because, so he can give us more stuff. Like what, knowledge? Wisdom? Yeah. Wisdom to help you grow into a mighty young man? Yeah. Right, yeah. Um, do you feel that, uh, do you feel that your father is trying to do the work of the Lord and help you grow in yes. wisdom? Do you? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, what kind of a father do you think I'd be if I didn't, uh, have a relationship with my father with God. Um, do you, you think I'd be okay, yeah. or do you think I'd be kind of okay? You think I'm better that I uh, that I know what the love of God is? Mm, yes. Do you think that really does help? You because there's a lot of people out there that they don't even believe in God. They're pretty good dads, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty good dads. But where do you think they get that love from? Um, Even though they don't believe in God, where do you think that love comes from? Um, do you think it comes from their parents? Or do you think it comes from God, deep down inside? God. You think so? See, that's kind of what I think, right? Yeah. I think God instilled it into us when we were children, right? Yeah. Yeah, right? When, when you were just a baby, you didn't even know, you weren't even taught. You don't even know how to be um, loved or what love is, but yet... You did it, right? Mm -hmm. You loved your parents, right? Yes. And you love you love all sorts of people, right? When you were a baby, you you didn't know, you don't know what love was, but but yet you did it, right? Yes. So you had to get it from somewhere, right? So some people say, oh well, it's just science, right? It's just in, it's just in our DNA or our biology. People just have emotions when they're born, right? Do you believe in a spirit? Um. Do you believe that we have? a life force that yeah. that runs our body yes you do uh what do you think that spirit is a part of um so we can run and walk and move our whole body okay but who do you think gave us that spirit god you think god gave us that spirit why would he do that because so we can run and walk but why yeah. else do you think he'd do that so we can live we can live do you think it might be also because he uh, he knows that um, that's a part of who he is and that's yeah. how he teaches us, maybe? Yes. Yeah, that's how he teaches us? 
Well, Heath, I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you get out of here, and you go finish eating like a big, big boy, okay? Okay. I love you. Thank you for answering my questions, young man. Well, that's it, folks. We heard it out of the mouth of babes. Um, you know, Christ Jesus said, Do not turn these little children from me, for they will inherit the kingdom of the Lord. Uh, they are the eyes and ears to the spiritual realm. The older we get, the more, the older a person gets, the more they walk away from that spiritual aspect of life, the more they don't see. We need to get back to that childlike, that faith, that understanding. And if you're out there and you don't believe in God at all, um, what is that, an agnostic, uh, um, an atheist, whatever, whatever that is, whatever the situation may be, we need to get back to that. If you if you have questions, if you have doubts, if you have some if you have some sort of reasoning and thought process behind all of what I'm what I've been saying today and what uh, my children have been here to help with, uh, please think about please think about. What might this actually be? Pick up a Bible, go to a church, talk to someone that has some understanding and some some love in this. Uh, I, for one, I love having children because it reminds me of what the Bible says to me every day that I pick it up and then I read it. It says, look, I just, I love you. I want what's best for you. So many people, they, they, they don't see that, but that's what it says. Every day, that's what your Bible will say to you. No matter how you look at it. Yes, the Old Testament has wars and, and this and that and the other, but the reason why was because the people that God was asking to have destroyed were was just trying to kill his children, those people, they, they had walked away. They said, there is no God. They destroy, They were trying to do everything they could to destroy the earth and use it in a way that it was not meant to be used and, and do things that it was not supposed to be done. Homosexuality, bestiality, I mean, you name it. It was That's what was going on in that, in that world back then. And God was telling his children, look, I don't want you to be a part of that because that's not what it's meant for. Yes, you guys are supposed to love each other, but it's not supposed to be man and man and woman and woman. You're not supposed to be with with uh, animals, man with animals and all that other kind of crap. That's crap. It's supposed to be a man and a woman to become one. You know, I was trying to get my old, oldest son to read <clears throat> to read Matthew. 19 and I'm going to go ahead and read it, read it. This is what Jesus says. This is what Jesus says to the Pharisees. Okay? The Pharisees come to Jesus and say and ask unto him tempting him and saying unto him, "Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause?" And he and Jesus answered and said unto them, have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother, and shall cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. What he's saying, what Jesus was saying there is God created man and a woman to become one flesh, to become united with each other so strong that no that divorce cannot come into the way, that no man can come up against and say, oh, well, whatever, whatever. What I, and, and I, I say it that way because there's so many different examples, I'm not going to get into them all. But 
that's the way it was meant to and what what is it it's getting back to the all of this is getting back to the relationship the 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 relationship between a man and a woman is supposed to teach us the relationship between humans or be, uh, human beings or mankind overall and God. That's what it was meant for, is to show us that it's supposed to be, we're supposed to be united as one. Folks, again, I really do hope you enjoyed this. I'm going in about 20 minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Uh, I really do appreciate y'all watching. I know there's going to be a few mistakes in here. I'm not going to edit the video because it, it takes some time. And I want to go ahead and get this to y'all so you can um, watch it and enjoy it. I hope you get, I hope you understand where my heart's at. And I hope you're getting enough of, of where God, what God is trying to say in this. Uh, I've definitely got some more. I don't know exactly when. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm trying to spend time with the boys just as much as I'm trying to get y'all some videos. Uh, because they are my children, they are my life. I want, uh, they are what helps me get through this world along with God. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to get as much time as I can with them. I hope you forgive me. I hope you understand. Uh, I will be getting a video to you all though. Please be looking out for it. Like I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. And if there's anything else, please leave some comments in the comment section so I know you're watching. I know you're whether you're enjoying it or not. And uh, maybe we'll get into some debates or conversations of some sort. We will see y'all later. Yeah.